scientific notation. Uh, don't get much into the math of it, but more the whys and the hows. And when I say the math of it, really understanding orders of magnitude in that. Um, we're not going to do that today. We're just going to focus on how to, how to do it so that you can be effective in physics class on using scientific notation. Um, scientific notation isn't sort of a curriculum topic, but what it is, it's a skill that you know, in your textbooks or when you're doing questions, you're often going to see scientific notation and you want to be able to interpret what it means. And it, you'll see it in life too. So anyway, so the reason, the big reason why uh, you use it is, is it's easier to write, you know, write um, big numbers or small numbers. So instead of writing all those zeros out, easily you can make a mistake, forget a zero, add a zero. I probably did when I wrote this out. Um, you know, this is, it's, it's you can't make a mistake there, or at least I can't. I would look at it right away and know it's a mistake. If you wrote out the mass of Earth and you wrote this, you could add two zeros. I would never sit and count them. But if you wrote it this way and you wrote 26 instead of 24, I would know, right? Um, so, like, the other thing is that, you know, in understanding and interpreting numbers, if you see two giant numbers beside each other, they're just two giant numbers, right? But if I look at the scientific notation down here, I can see that. Jupiter, the mass of Jupiter, is about a thousand times bigger. Not exactly a thousand, because these digits do affect it, but just looking at the the exponent, because 27 minus 24 is 3, um, it's sort of, the 3 means it's 10 to the 3, and 10 to the 3 is just a thousand, 10 times 10 times 10 is a thousand. So I can look at that and say Jupiter's 10 is, exact, is about a thousand times bigger than Earth. But looking at this, I can't do that, at least not very quickly. Okay? Um... And, and looking at small numbers, same idea. This is the mass of a proton. Remember the little particles inside the nucleus of an atom? Um, the mass of an electron, the ones that, that create electricity, is, is this number. And again, looking at it right away, you can tell there's more zeros here. So it's probably a smaller number with the mass of an electron. But uh, here I can tell exactly. Mass of a proton is 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27. Mass of an electron is negative 31. And that's reflected in the number of zeros there. And so I can look at it and say, okay, uh, the difference in the exponents is, is 4. So that means that the mass of a proton, um, remember when you're dealing with negative numbers, um, the, smaller, the smaller number actually means a bigger mass because it means there's more, fewer zeros in here. Um, so the mass of a proton is almost four orders of magnitude greater than the electron. Now, because if you notice that's a 9 and that's a 1, Usually we refer to a proton as being about a thousand times bigger, but it's evident by looking at the exponents, and that's the important part. So just the how-to, this is where, where you need to get something out of it. You should have this side written down on your sheet, and maybe you could write down the example. We're doing this example here, and, and again, looking at that, I can't exactly tell what it is. I think it's 9,760,000 million, but uh, that's not important. Uh, but the, the skill is... So it's the first step, write the number with one digit on the left and the rest of the non-zero digits on the right, okay? Um, theoretically, you could put all the zeros in, but that would defeat the purpose of doing scientific notation, I think. You add the times 10, and then the hard part is the exponent, but it's not hard. You just take the total number of digits and subtract one. Now, what if there's a decimal right there, like 0 0.0 or 0.5 or something? You wouldn't include the decimal part, anything past the decimal. It's just all the numbers sort of on the left of the decimal. You count them up, subtract one, and that's the exponent. Okay? So that's doing scientific number notation with a big number. Uh, maybe we could just practice a few. Why don't you try these on your own? Stop the video, uh, write out your answers, and then I'll put the, um, the answers up in a sec. Okay, so hopefully you stopped, tried the questions, and you got these answers. So 3.4 times 10 to the 4. Why is it 4? Because if you count them up, 5 digits, 5 subtract 1 is 4. Same thing here. There's, uh, there's actually 7 digits written out here, so that's got to be a 6. Always one less. 3 digits, it's got to be 2. Okay? Um, going in the opposite direction. So write these in reg as regular numbers. So write this out. Uh, pause the tape. Try the questions and then check the answers. Here's the answers. Um, times 10 to the 5, that means I have to have 6 numbers written out, which I do. Times 10 to the 3, I have to have 4 numbers written out. Times 10 to the 8, I have to have 9 numbers written out. Okay? Small numbers, you should have the what to do. Here's an example. 0.040 and then 5, 6. 
So you start the same. You write the five and like one number. So all your numbers here, you write one number before the decimal, one number after. Um, typically, even if it was say there was no six there, it was just five, five, zero, 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 five, and the six was truncated off, you'd probably still write 5.0. That's just typical notation. Um, you add a times 10 to the negative this time. Okay, the negative is important because the negative is what makes it small, right? Um, and then the number of zeros, all you do is you count the total number of zeros in the original number. Sort of to the left of the first non-zero digit. So here there's five zeros. So it's got to be 10 to negative 5. Okay, now if it was 5, say this was 505, five, you wouldn't include the zero on the right of the 5. You just count all the numbers on the left, including the zero on the other side of the decimal. So just practice it up. Um, write these questions, write these numbers out, write them out as scientific notation, and uh, pause the tape, try them, I'm going to move on, and here's the answers. Just to remind you, negative 4, why? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, zeros. Negative 2, 1, 2, zeros. Negative 1, 1, zero. Okay? Just some more practice. Uh, write these out in standard notation, going in the opposite direction. And the answer is I got to write out five zeros. One, two, three, four, five, two, two. Here, uh, I got to write out three zeros. So, one, two, three zeros total. Okay, eight zeros. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's writing large and small numbers scientific notation, and you'll have chances to practice that up. Um, but like I say, it's not a it's not a topic in the course. It's just something. It's just a skill you need to have.